What's up guys, Jason here and welcome to a brand new FIFA 21 play review. So in today's video guys, I'm going to be reviewing 90 rated Kylian Mbappe. So as you can see in these six games I played with him, he managed to score me 12 goals. Now this is only the loan card, so I don't actually own the card, but it's still a really, really good return. Of course, he's got the five star score moves, the four star weak foot is five foot 10. I always thought it was a bit taller for some reason. I thought it was like 5'11", six foot, um, but I'm probably getting mistaken with Ronaldo. And then when it comes to the in-game stats, absolutely insane. The 96 acceleration, 96 sprint speed. This guy is absolutely rapid. Such a quick player. 91 finishing, really good shot power. Not the greatest long shots there, but not the worst. Decent volleys. Passing again, you know, short passing at 83 is all you really need for a striker, just for the link-up play. And then the dribbling stats again, off the chart. The 92 agility, 82 balance, 92 reactions. Some insane stats there. And then the physical category as well, not too bad um, in the the 70 range um, so when it comes to player traits as well he has the finesse shot he has the flare trait and is the outside of the foot shot now outside the foot shot is a very underrated trait in my opinion um, you know when you're running from the left sometimes you know rather than going on the four star weak foot or sorry the right sorry and you know cutting into the left rather than going on the four star weak foot you can actually just hit it with the outside of his foot and obviously it's a lot more powerful um, and a lot higher chance of scoring a goal so anyway guys this has been the in-game stats now let's get into the highlights so before we get into the highlights i just want to say if you do enjoy this video make sure you drop a like on the video and leave a comment telling me what player you do want me to review next um you know it just helps for the algorithm helps to boost my videos and just in general helps my channel to do better but anyway now getting into the mbappe highlights so the first pro with this mbappe card is his strength now this one's probably a bit surprising i um, mean you know, he only has around i think it's 76 strength but honestly in game he feels very strong it might just be the player build and obviously he isn't fifa ambassador or like an ea ambassador um so i think they sort of juice up the cards a little bit more than maybe they should because felix as well you know he got a boost this year when you know he didn't necessarily have the greatest season last year and he had a very he's you know a very nice card for i think it's an 81 rated that he is um so yeah i think maybe some of his stats were a bit juiced up and honestly this guy feels like r9 in my opinion i haven't managed to use r9 ronaldo this year but i used him last year and he feels very similar to this mbappe card you know insane finishing insane shooting obviously mbappe only has the four star weak foot where r9 has the five star but honestly if you're looking for like a cheap r9 type of player i think mbappe is um your best option and he does feel like a glitch you know he's so fast he's so strong his finishing's insane he's everything you need in a player um on fifa you know i would honestly say he might be better than ronaldo um on a fifa 21 i haven't used the ronaldo card yet but just looking at the stats and you know the key stats they do have in certain areas i feel like mbappe is probably going to be a bit better obviously as well ronaldo has i think it's really low balance where mbappe is around 82 um so yeah i just think for scaling and in general plus he links with you know players like neymar and obviously he's french as well so he gets strongly links to players like Vieira or you can also link him into the Premier League with players like Pogba so yeah just a really really good linkable beast of a player um, and just an overall you know incredible incredible footballer in real life as well um, so the key stat obviously is that 91 finishing this guy finishes basically everything in front of goal I'd say probably 9 9.5 out of 10 chances he will finish in front of goal and he has so much power on his shots as well it's not like it's just placed into the corner he just absolutely smashes it you know past the keeper uh, rifles it into the top corners most of the time what is absolutely insane um, strength again as I've already said and this guy's acceleration he is absolutely rapid um i thought you know saint maximum was a fast player the inform card but this guy is something else he makes saint maximum feel slow honestly he just glides across the pitch um he sort of has that jj Kocha feel to him if you've used a Kocha ever when it comes to scaling and dribbling he sort of just glides and and you know players like Zidane as well they have the same sort of thing they just glide across the pitch and Mbappe has that but it's absolutely rapid while doing it as well um so you know you put those two things together and it's just a joy to play with him so yeah great for scaling great for competitive FIFA um, just great if you can afford it obviously I think you can get the loan card what I did as well from the season objectives I believe um, I got him alone for 14 matches in total um, so really nice if you just want to test him out you know before you do put the coins into him I will eventually get this card um, when I do have the coins so just overall a really really good player now let's get into the overview 
So starting off the overview now for 90 rated Kylian Mbappe. On the enjoyment scale, I'm going to give him an 8.5 out of 10. So fun to use, such a fun card as I've said. Um, and yeah, just a really, really fun and enjoyable player who makes FIFA fun. I think since the patch, the game's probably got a little bit worse in my opinion. Um, but this card again just brings joy back to the game. Competitiveness. You're wise, you know, one of the best players you can get at this stage of the game. 96 pace, 86 shooting, 91 dribbling, 76 physical. You're not really going to be getting many cards better than this Mbappe. And then when it comes down to skilling again, very, very solid. 8.75 out of 10. Um, so smooth, fluid, great balance, great agility, great dribbling, great ball control. You know, in general, just really, really good. And again, he's one of those players who sometimes I feel like they perform skills too quickly. Um, because when it comes down to scaling, you really have to work on the timing. And with Mbappe, he just does everything so quickly. It sort of screws up the timing because, you know, I'm used to using these slower, um, less agile players. And then when it comes to the overall rating, I'm going to give him an 8.5 out of 10. Honestly, could have been a 9, but I'm just leaving some room for, you know... Maybe if he gets a special card or an inform or something like that. I'm just leaving some room, but honestly, this guy could be like a nine um, if we're just going off, you know, basing off the cards, the cards in the game right now. So anyway, guys, this has been the player review. If you enjoyed it and want to see more FIFA 21 player reviews on my channel, leave a like on the video and subscribe. Comment down below what player review you want next. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Thank you.